Hello, this is Lucia and and Dylan. And we are going to do this in English and Spanish though. In English. Okay, he wants to do it in English. Um, okay, so a lot of people asked us how we did this little guy. And we're gonna turn it on for those who didn't see it in action. Technically, we take the lids off of the markers and it will draw on a piece of paper. But to show you what we did, we used an old um, vinegar plastic bottle. We made two holes in the top part of it. And, then and we, we put the molding on, on there and so this thing, and we put this thingy from, from this bottle up uh, and then uh, here uh, and we use electrical tape to put this stick um, on popsicle it a uh, popsicle stick so it could turn and 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 move so it could draw exactly so if you can see we made a hole in a cork and we put the hole I mean the cork in the hole. And the wires uh, can uh, make it spin with the motor and the battery pack by having uh, the connecting things Oh yes, please and can you battery. explain us what's going on here though? Okay. What, you, what did you do here? Uh, I connect these motors together and, and I put the battery there and that's how it spins. So for this, uh, you're gonna need the battery pack that we tape inside and there. And electrical tape. Yes. And also a motor. These are basically standard electric motors. Uh, you can just buy it from an electronic store. And this particular one has two little, two little holes where you can put a wire. And we bought this little wire case where we can find wires from different sizes and attach them to all our parts. So to complete our electric circuit here, we will connect these wires, the red and the black one with the yellow one. Can you do that, Dylan? So okay, that one? I'll try. Okay, so we have, and there's different types of motors. You can get the little tiny ones. Um, you can have one with two. Um, this one I like, this is gonna be fun for something else we're gonna make. And this one has two little spinning ends, the little shafts, and we can attach other things here. And also, and we can cut this in so we can tie the wires um, easier. So this is another motor you can find. And yeah, that's the, the motor that we have. And this one's we bought at Micro Center. We bought them for, the one that we use, bought them for $4.99. That one, the one that Dylan has in his hand. All right, so are the cables attached, Dylan? Okay, so yes. now. Is but your not, circuit open or closed one. now? One oh, you've got not. one more? And it's... Are you having connect. trouble? Is it connected? Yeah, it's full. It might be. I'm going to try again. And I'm done. Okay. And so I they're you... connect. And you can use... And now you will hear the sound from this spinning motor. Okay, no, wait. not right now, but not right now. It's... Okay. it's and the, I have... The, the, the wires no, will all cut off. You gotta work on those connections. Let me try again so people don't uh, turn your phones off. I, I, I'm, uh, this is still not over. Okay? But I am still have to... Okay, and we see the motor spinning. There you go. I don't know if you can see it well, but... Um, yeah. So that end is spinning, and we had that problem where we couldn't stop, so the the little motor kept on going and going. So what you can do is use a switch. A switch. And what is a switch for? And um, this the off one is the, the red one, and the good one is black one. To to um, to to to, to 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 move, move your 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 robot guys. You have to put put this to turn it on and on off. to turn it off and off. And like mine's, you have to press the one is the going one. 
<laughs> Oops. But you guys can see. Yes, we made a hole in the bottle with an exacto knife. And hold on, you're gonna need some help, Dylan. Dylan, look, you use that battery for that. Anyway, so if you can see in there, we made two holes inside the bottom of the bottle um, so that we can put the wires, the, the green wires, oh. just like here, he's got the yellow this wires. Thing off. Just like we put, just like we put the wires here, uh, we're putting the green ones through the holes, and then the wire will go. One wire will go to the switch, and one wire will go to the battery pack. Let me see if I can put it in the camera. And here. you can guys see I made another robot. Hold on, Dylan. Let me just see if I can show this better. Okay, so now you can see the red and black wire from the battery pack and the green one green wire going towards the switch and then the black wire goes to the switch and that was it oh yeah so we attached the popsicle stick just on top um if the robot wobbles too much you can push it in um, or you, you can put the popsicle stick a little bit in or a little bit further you, you can kind of like or you can, play with it or you can might use duct tape or electrical tape, or or you can use the smoothie thing to and make it stuck there forever, and so your robot will will spin and make a draw picture. That's right, and we like the electrical tape because it's stretchy, and if you need to replace the markers or you want to do um, coloring pencils, you can do that as well. And do you want, do you say you wanted to show something about the one? Yeah, it's my old robot. Your old robot? Yeah, that I made it right now. But this one was for a long time ago. Oh, that one is the one. And this is one that he just made. And you guys can it. see how it works. Oh, we need, I think you need oh. it. Oh, I think I need a, new, a battery from this. Hey, how do I get this thing out? You guys, it's not over yet. I'll show you <laughs> something uh, cool. And it's, and uh, the flat part goes into this spring too. And also, and, and that's the... That's oh no, the side... Um, the side fell off. <laughs> it's okay, that happens a lot when you're working with, um, with things you build. So this one, we dropped a couple of connections that we need yeah. to fix. Uh, but essentially, here's this, the same... Um, the same principle. Now Dylan, what's going on here? How's your robot work? When I move so, so a lot of time, and um, um, the 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 batteries uh, uh, can control themselves. <laughs> that's right. So there is no switch in this one. That's why it's um, a little bit of a problem. So we will be adding a switch, uh, and we have different sizes. So there's this one right here, super tiny. It's perfect for little fingers, and. This one, this one is a little bit more difficult to to press, so it's really hard. Um, so I suggest if you have like this switch that you can press down like this, it will be easier. Um, also in terms of battery packs, um, they're this type and there's also solar um, battery packs and those are probably my best um, bet. We're going to be getting more of those. Um, okay, so the situation here is the same this one's already came attached this this one came from a set but we got this one to kind of like show Dylan and that the same the same um, system Let's see what I did. Um, so this one has two little shots on the side and that's what makes it gears turn and yep yeah, that's how the, this robot works the gears turning on the top there's another gear that makes the arms turn and the same thing with the legs and so, and these things, look what I'm doing. This part is going like this, and the other part is going up, and the other one is going down. So that's how the ear works. That's right, the arms. That's how the arms and the legs work. Those are called gears. No? Yeah. All right. Well, that was all from us, and I hope you will um, get your stuff together and enjoy, and you can build your own robot and... And if you and if you and and if you have kids, you your kids will do can't do it alone. You, the your kids need grown ups to help you. That's right. Oh, and yeah, we added some eyes here so you can make it fun. 
All right. Bye. Enjoy. Enjoy your day.